A squash farmer feeds hundreds of people and gives back to the community in a huge way. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Feed Evansville received a semi-load of squash yesterday. And since a single squash can't make a full meal, they decided to add to that generosity and help those in need. Eyewitness News Ann Powell has the story. Brad and Shelley, there are still dozens of people here at Hard Key Pool waiting in line to get a free box of food. Now, earlier today, that line stretched for several miles. And with gas and inflation on the rise, Feed Evansville says that the need is expected to go even higher. Keep going, keep going, keep going a little bit more. Perfect, right there. Thank you. Fighting food insecurity, one squash at a time. I got them. There goes one. <laughs> After receiving a semi full of acorn and spaghetti squash from a local farmer, Feed Evansville put together a food car line. Have some canned goods, some stuffing, things of that nature, mac and cheese, some bread. A lot of people out there need it. For Dallas Kane, events like this help him get food on the table. I can't wait to get some food and get home and get something to eat. I ain't ate all day. Before the event even started, the line of cars stretched for over a mile. Volunteers spent hours handing out squash. Hi, God bless you. And other perishable food items. When Feed Evansville saw the crowd, they began making calls asking if anybody could donate. We're probably going to have to turn away a lot of people, and that worries me about what they're going to do for the rest of their weekend to subsidize the food in their home. Before COVID-19, Reed Evansville says they had a 14% food insecurity rate. Now it is at 20%, and that is expected to continue rising. Uh, the holiday season, it's getting cold. Uh, you need to stretch your dollar more for, for gas and for warmth and things. It, it really does increase the need. And Brad and Shelley to, to make sure everybody gets food who are in this line tonight. Feed of Evansville also went out and spent around $10,000 worth of more food. Make sure everybody goes home with something tonight. Reporting in Evansville, Ann Powell, Eyewitness News.